If you have psoriasis, you understand what it's like to have skin covered with red patches and plaques and having itchy skin. Treating your psoriasis is important so you can focus on what is really important in your life. While there's no cure for psoriasis, there are many treatments now available for psoriasis. In this video, we will provide an overview of the different types of treatments that can be prescribed by your doctor, including topical therapies, biologics, pills, and light therapy. Which treatment options are right for you depends largely on your psoriasis severity. We typically divide psoriasis into mild or limited psoriasis versus moderate to severe psoriasis. For those with mild or limited psoriasis, we usually use topical medicines or targeted light therapy. For ones with moderate to severe psoriasis, we usually use biologics, pills, or total body light therapy. Hi, I'm Dr. April Armstrong, AKA Professor Skin. I'm a board certified dermatologist and a researcher. I'm passionate about caring for psoriasis patients and have cared for thousands of psoriasis patients. Okay, let's now dive right into these treatments. Prescription topicals. For patients with limited psoriasis, topical treatments are typically used. Examples of prescription topical treatments include topical steroids, which are generally well tolerated and effective for reducing mild psoriasis. Non-steroid options include things such as topical vitamin D, calcineurin inhibitors, and keratolytics, or topical medications that break down scale. Some topical treatments combine a steroid with a vitamin D agent. Now, all of these topical treatments work to reduce the inflammation and help relieve itching. Prescribed topical therapies are typically used once or twice daily. For patients with moderate to severe psoriasis, the treatment strategy is quite different. For these patients, biologics are now among the first-line treatments. Biologics are protein-based treatments. Most biologics are antibodies that work by soaking up the extra inflammation molecules in the psoriasis patient's body. Most biologics are injections that can be done at home. Biologics fall into four main categories. TNF-alpha blockers, such as Imbrol, Humira, Simzia, or Remicade. IL-1223 blockers, such as Stellara, IL-17 blockers, such as Cosentix, Taltz, and Salique, and IL-23 blockers, such as Tremphia, Illumia, and Skyrizine. Depending on the biologic used, between 60 to 90% of the patients can be clear or almost clear in three to four months. Patients often notice significantly improved quality of life. In a small proportion of patients, there may be a small increased risk for infections, such as common colds, but most biologics used for psoriasis are well tolerated. For patients with a moderate to severe psoriasis, other options include pills. Oral treatments for psoriasis include methotrexate, apremolast, otherwise known as otezla, acetretin, and cyclosporin. Other than cyclosporin, the effectiveness of these pills is generally a little bit lower than that of biologics. But pills can be considered for patients who cannot do injections. Side effects are different depending on the type of oral medication. For example, for methotrexate, we need to monitor for toxicity on the liver with a long-term use. Now, light therapy. These days, the most commonly used light therapies are UVB light therapy. For patients with small areas of psoriasis, targeted UVB light therapy can be considered. For patients with moderate to severe psoriasis, narrow-band UVB therapy in a light booth can be considered. In general, the treatment frequency for light therapies is about two to three times a week. Light therapy can be done in one's office or sometimes at home. So which psoriasis treatments may be right for you? Well, it depends on a number of different things but the key considerations are the severity and location of your psoriasis, whether you have psoriatic arthritis, 
because having psoriatic arthritis may change which medication you want to choose that is effective for both psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis. And finally, what other medical conditions you have can also impact the choice of psoriasis therapy. It's important to talk with your dermatologist about the right treatment for you. Finally, how long will you need to use these treatments? In most people, psoriasis is a chronic skin condition. Unfortunately, we don't have a one-time treatment that will make psoriasis go away permanently at this time. So regular treatment of psoriasis is necessary to prevent flares in most people. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about skin conditions, please subscribe below. This has been Dr. April Armstrong, Professor Skin.